start removing the easier parts. To remove the support of the sheets, using a flat screwdriver, unlock the two tabs on the sides. Remove the wasting parts, remove the screw. Obviously, if you want to remove the main board or the printhead, you don't need to remove the wasting parts. Slide it to the right and remove it. Under the ink waste parts, there is the paper feed roller assembly. Remove the metal spring. Pull out the roller. You can clean it with a cloth, dampen it with water. Reinstall it in the same way. Remove the paper support, pending it on the center. It has tabs on the bottom. The scanner unit. Open the cover of the document feeder, push the side towards you and remove it. There are two tabs on the sides of the cover. It has two rubber paper feed rollers. If you want to clean the rollers, you can remove them. Remove the inner cover. It has two tabs on the side too. Remove the screw. Remove the automatic document feeder paper support. It's easy. It has two tabs. The control panel has three screws. Remove the three screws. Unlock the two hooks on the bottom of the control panel. Lift up the control panel. Be careful, it has a cable on the left. Remove the three screws on the back of the control panel. Open the control panel. Detach the flat cable. Remove the screw. If you need to disassemble the control panel to clean or repair it, remove these screws. Pull out the electronic board with the contacts of the keyboard. This is uh, the speaker.
Ali mogu da iskrivo ga. Lift up the upper cover of the printer. Be careful, there is a cable on the left. Remove the screw. Remove the plastic plate. It has three taps. The touch of the flat cable. Pull out the other cable. You can now remove the upper cover of the printer. Remove the screw. Pull out and remove the support of the cover. To remove the right side cover, remove the two screws on the bottom of the cover. Remove the cover. Remove the two screws on the bottom of the left side cover. Remove the screw. Here there is another screw. Remove the side panel. To remove the power supply unit, remove this panel. It's held in place with three hooks. Push on the tab on the side and remove the power supply board. Attach the connector on the side. Rotate the wide gear and move the cartridge holder towards the center. The printhead of the Epson printers are quite delicate, so do not move the printhead unless necessary and do not let the printhead far from its home position for too much time. Only if you need to remove or clean the printhead, remove the ink cartridges. To remove the printhead, remove the side panel pushing on the tab. I, I have a video on how to remove the printhead. It's not necessary to dismantle the wall printer, but I will show you again. Detach the large flat cable, only the large one. Do not touch the other flat cables. The contact plate has two hooks, as you see in the video. Push on the hooks and remove the contact plate. Remove the three screws of the printhead. Remove the printhead. Remember that if you let the printhead too much time out of the printer, the ink inside the nozzle will dry out, destroying the printhead. 
to remove the main board that touch this flat cable. Remove this teeny screw. Remove the other screw. Detach the cable of the main board. Here there is a screw. Remove the cable holder. Remove this part. Here there is a screw. Remove it. It's not easy to disassembly this printer. Epson does not want you repair their printers. Better to sell a new one. Detach all the connectors of the main board. You can finally remove the metal cover. Remove the screw. Remove the main board. Under this metal plate there is a sensor. It could uh, give problems uh, as all light uh, blinking uh, and other error codes. Cleaning it uh, often uh, solves the problem. This uh, transparent gear is uh, the encoder wheel. It's uh, the cause of a uh, lot of error codes, uh, if dirty. This is uh, the carriage motor. To remove it, uh, remove the two screws. I suggest you to stop the disassembly of the printer here. From now, it becomes even more difficult any removal of other parts. To open the scanner unit, remove the six screws. Lift up the cover of the scanner. This is the inside of the scanner unit. You can clean it, add grease to the moving parts and so on. Insert the first side panel. Install the four screws. Install the other side panel. Insert the two screws.
in certain uh, support of the scanner unit. The screw, insert uh, the cable, insert uh, the flat cable of the scanner unit. Reinstall the plastic plate. Install the upper cover of the printer. Insert the screw. Put the scanner unit in this position. Install the screw. Insert the cable and the three screws of the, of the control panel. Restart the control panel. The other three screws. Reinstall the paper support. Reassemble the automatic document feeder. Reinstall the wasting parts and the screw. Insert the sheet feeder. And the work is done.